Hi, welcome back to We Ride Motos. I'm Glenn. And I'm Carrie. In this episode, we travel from Nerha to Toledo with stops in Ronda, Olvera, and a Smurf village. <laughs> Stay tuned. So the trip down the coastal road was was a lot of fun. It was twisty and curvy, mm -hmm. and, and uh, yeah, it was a nice break from inland driving. That's for sure. It's officially called the Blue Village, but it has Smurfs in it. So I thought, well, that looks kind of cool. Let's check that out. So so why blue instead of white like the rest of them? Well, apparently they filmed Murph's 3D there, mm. came in and said, can we paint your town blue? I guess they agreed and... Painted so, it blue. <laughs> yeah, so they painted it blue and there's still a few Smurfs hiding around. sat and had a coffee I was yeah oh, Smurfs are okay but it wasn't my thing <laughs> yeah. so I I drank coffee and Carrie wandered around yeah. town so I wandered around town I found a few little Smurfy things that in our left and yeah it was it was kind of a and there's the odd odd thing that I thought was kind of funny while I was sitting having coffee there's a zip line yeah. in this Smurf town yeah. that goes from one post to another and that's it got into Rhonda and checked it out and the big two big attractions in Rhonda one uh, is a bullfighting they yeah have a huge museum they there they had a huge ring and the museum yeah. yeah lots of statues of matadors and yeah. yeah and stuff like that and then the big bridge which yeah was really interesting amazing it's yeah. huge like it's so deep crossing this gorge which I think they used to have to go down the one side, they had a path, and then go around and up the other side. So yeah. this bridge would have been a huge time saver. Yeah, and this, this area has been inhabited from my, my research since 
Neolithic period. Mm -hmm. So people have lived here for a very long time, and but the bridge only went in in the 1700s. Oh, really? Yeah. And was there different times they had bridges and they got blown up, or I'm not I sure. don't know. Yeah. This one that we're walking on in the in the videos. Yeah. Is, Built in the 1700s. Oh, okay. So relatively new. Yeah. Relatively in European new. standards, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nothing in Canada was built in the 1700s, no, I don't no. think. <laughs> So this area has lots of, they're called the White Towns, I believe. White Villages. White Villages, and there's a whole, quite a few. Unless they're blue. Yeah, unless <laughs> they're blue. So we thought we'd check out a couple other ones on our way up to Toledo. We stopped by the one and it was so busy that I literally think... we could not get any parking even for the motorcycle. No, I, I stopped the bike. The one place we could park, there was, there was no parking. So yeah. Carrie went into town to take some pictures. I jumped on the bike. Yeah. I rode up to turn around and found that I swear 40 or 50 buses yeah. were parked up there. It was- It was very busy. The, the town was kind of neat because they had the cliff and then there was like the indent in the cliff and there was, yeah. it was all built up with houses and shops in that area. So that was, I think, the attraction yeah. for this one. I think everybody in Rhonda was there that day Maybe. checking it out. I think they do little tours, yeah. So yeah. anyways, I got a few pictures of it, but never really got to check it out. So no. next time, maybe it's a good place to... I didn't check place. it out at all. Way too many no. people for me. Well, and yeah, we yeah. could get parking. Thank you. 
road to Olvera, which is another white village, mm -hmm. uh, and then we stayed overnight in Olvera, and it mm. was it was pretty cool. Our, yeah. our Airbnb host was a great fella from Scotland. Oh, we had a great conversation with him. Makes a yeah. fantastic yeah. cup of coffee. So. Yes, and he um, gave us some hints on some places to stay on our next trip. So yeah, that down was... in southern Spain, got some yeah some tips from the locals, which is always a plus. That's right. Yeah. So it, that that town was very steep. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it was. Um, I think Glenn Even, measured it with his phone with a yeah i took a level indicator yeah. i've got a picture of it but it's like minus well it's like 15 to 17 degrees and even the guys i mean i wouldn't drive it on the bike we're we're too loaded up and, yeah and but even the locals riding their motorcycles were just crawling down they're, the road it's going pretty slow yeah. and the, but the problem is is they'll drive backwards up the street it's yeah. a, the street in front of our house or airbnb was downhill one way but every other car was going uphill yeah, yeah. and i didn't want to do Got up the next day, went to see our bike, and you know what? I guess it's inevitable that something will happen at some yeah. point. And somebody decided that I don't know. I don't know. They didn't like our bike, or we're looking for something, but they slashed our bike cover all up. Yeah, that's so, that unfortunate. Nothing was stolen on the bike. The kit cover, the bike cover was wrecked, but yeah. whatever. Yeah. yeah. So it happens. Yeah, every once in a while. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we'll bring another one with us when we go back. Yeah. So, Uh, so our last day uh, from Overa up to Toledo was just up the highway. It was nothing interesting. And the only reason we, we did bypass some great places like Granada and Seville, Cordoba, Cordoba yeah. and, and we bypassed them because the weather was, well, the weather was supposed to be closing in and it was going to be wet and it would have created issues for us mm -hmm. trying to get the bike into storage with a whole bunch of wet rain gear and everything else. So we just opted out. We're going to catch all that in our our trip that we're taking to Morocco this mm -hmm. coming year so uh, we'll catch all those on, on that time but yeah so it's just a quick run up the highway yeah and the next episode is our, our well we spent a week in Toledo yeah well not quite five days I think in Toledo <clears throat> but yeah what an amazing oh, we had city. a great spot in our Airbnb to sit and yeah people watch which did. is yeah. probably one of my favorite activities yeah, yeah it was awesome I want to thank the new subscribers, and again, if you if you like what you're seeing, uh, a like and subscribe would be fantastic, mm -hmm. and I'll see you in the next one. See you next time.